I'm Coach Mike, and welcome to 2015 Change Your Body Boot Camps Challenge Week. This is phase five. You're going to do challenge workout number three today. Complete 20 rounds or 20 sets as fast as possible. Excuse me, 20 rounds as fast as possible. Goal is to finish it in 20 minutes or less. There's going to be four different circuits. Okay. Each circuit, you're going to do four rounds fast as possible. When you're done, report your time. Now, equipment. You need your mat, you need a chair, a bench, an ottoman, you need dumbbells. Dumbbell load today is 20 to 40 percent of your body weight, so I've got 235s here. You need a towel if you're on hardwood floors or a tile, or you need valve slides, something that can slide on the carpet. Tupperware works well, cardboard works well. I've got my water because I'll probably get thirsty. Some of the exercises have different levels. I'll show you the levels as we get there. Otherwise, we'll start with four point stability. We're going to go through all four, four times. So that's our first four of our, of our um, 16. We're going to do 16 rounds today. 16 rounds as fast as possible in 20 minutes or less. Ready, Ellen? Alright, so we're going to go front plank, and she says go. Go. Heads packed, pull your elbows towards your feet, push your feet towards your elbows. We're just going to switch on the front side. This is pillar stability. This is so that you can transfer force from one side to the other. So you can resist lateral flexion, so you can resist um, lumbar extension, so you can res resist rotary uh, anti-rotation. So when you're sprinting in tennis, and softball, and baseball, I think you're off. You think I'm off? Did I go too soon on the back side? How many does it it's mean? rep four. Okay. Did we just finished rep four? No, I'm fine. Okay. Okay. Keep your head packed. Don't droop. Push your head back. Check your ribs. Sometimes you feel like you're neutral, but you're not. If you put your hand on your chin, you can tell if you're packed. If you put your hands on your ribs, you can tell if they're tucked. Here, knees are unlocked. I feel like that it works better to pull your heels towards your hands. Push your hands towards your heels. Okay, so a lot of people are here, droopy head, pack your head. If you push away from the floor, that gets joint centration, stacking your joints. You ever see like people stacking rocks in the desert or in the woods? You kind of want to be stacked like that. One on top of the other. <sighs> Joints are stacked. Elbow is under the shoulder, shoulders under the ear, ears under the ear. Windows are open, you hear the cars going by. It's nice to hear the cars. Pull your elbows towards your feet, push your feet towards your elbows in the last round.
My knees should look straight, but unlocked, not fully flexed. Last one. Okay, that's your first circuit, your first four rounds, we got 12 to go. Second is power and core, hang jump shrugs, squat jumps, reverse crunches. Alright, hang jump shrugs, level one, jump without leaving the ground, level two, jump and leave the ground, level three, go heavier. Second exercise, squat jumps. Level one, ground zero. Don't leave the ground. Level two, jump, stick. Stick. Level three, reaction. When you hit the ground, get off as fast as possible. Third exercise, reverse crunch, hip lift. Okay. Level one. This one I'm gonna do more than the reps because there's, uh, I'll explain as I go. Level one, legs straight up in the air. Alternate leg lower. You're gonna do five each side. Resist in rotation. Level two, reverse crunch. You'll do 10 of these. I'll give you four. Level three, straight leg, reverse crunch, hip lift. Now, if you can't keep your low back flat as you lower, and keep your low back flat as you lift, don't do this level. It's gonna hurt your back. Go back to level two or level one. Okay, that's one round. Three to go. This is a fun one because it's fast and explosive. Just hip lift, so that's three. 
Last step. First burp. Okay. Not practice. Just an arm. Sometimes when you feel the burn, it takes a a while to feel the burn. And then when you feel the burn, that's when the getting is good. That's when you have to get comfortable being uncomfortable. Well, if I'm feeling it early, that means I'm already in the sweet spot. Okay, that's four rounds. I'm at eight, halfway, third circuit. One dumbbell, bent knee, stiff leg deadlift, four per side, paired with towel tuck push-ups. Okay, so if you have a TRX at home, do the atomic push-ups. All right, one dumbbell. Let's put this one down here for later. Let's put this one here for later. Okay, level one. I'm gonna do one level for the first round for emphasis. 20 seconds per side. It would be better to not stand on your mat. You'd have more stability. I'll switch it on my next side. Six, seven, eight, 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 ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty, seven. Now, as sloppy as my balance is, if I didn't warm up fully like I did, and I didn't do the four point stability fully like I did, I would be all over the place. But this helps to switch off energy leaks and switch on stabilizers. We'll call that 10. 11 Mississippi, 12 Mississippi, 13 Mississippi, 15 Mississippi, 16 Mississippi, 17 Mississippi, 19 Mississippi, 20 Mississippi. Okay. Towel tuck. Now, level one in the TRX, you hold for 40 Mississippis. Level one here, you would do one towel, five. On one side, five on the other side. Oh, oh man, you get tired. That's right. I was playing with Vivi yesterday, jumping around as a frog, playing hide and seek. My abs are tired, all the squat thrusts. Okay, level two. Four per side. Precision. I just craved orange juice with protein powder. How random. Okay, that's level two. Level two here. Now, you're doing four each side on the deadlift, and you're doing 10 on the tucks or push up and tucks. All right, level two. Knees to abs, hips up. Don't sit. Clamps. What a 
switch down. My group meet is more. Four rounds, 12 total, last four. How long do we have for time? 16, 12. Oh, it's gonna be tight. Okay, squat, level one prisoner, eight. Level three. 
I'm gonna do the level three just one time. Because the left shoulder, the right shoulder is not fully extended and flexing. So I don't wanna build strength on top of it. Good luck. 